So today we're going to take a quick glance at the market, check out my ICO sheet where we've added one more new coin or new ICO. Then we're going to check out two coins that are already established and have some news that is upcoming and could possibly move the coin. And then some crypto news that I feel is relevant that I want to speak to you guys about. Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. I have some exciting news for you guys today. We have something new that we'll be starting super soon. Actually two things that are new that I will be announcing in a little bit. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button below. Let's start with the ICO sheet. So we've added one new coin, NeuroChain, and we're looking at about a 78% after looking through the team their impact, the, the partners, their competition ladder, their roadmap advisors, pretty much everything I could think of, they're at about a 78%. There are things, a few things that worry me, such as the circulating supply compared to their total supply. Hard cap's a little high. Outside of that, I will be looking at this a little more in depth, so the score could fluctuate a little bit, but I wouldn't expect it to do too much. Now, with some news that I have that I'm excited to talk to you guys about, number one, I'm doing another score sheet. This one is not going to be about ICOs, though. So my friend Stefanos helps me literally every single day, whether it's on videos, the ICO score sheet, and just discussing cryptocurrency will be doing videos with me and will be working on this score sheet with me. Now the score sheet is going to concentrate on all the established coins, whether it's Dragon Chain, Zero X, WAN Chain, and compare them and we're gonna try to find the best way to score them based off of multiplier potential, compare them to Ethereum, which will be on there also, Bitcoin will be on there also, and I would love your ideas on how you think it is the best way to score each and every single one of those established coins. Now, of course, it's gonna be a while before we can score all of them. There's so many out there, so we will be concentrating on the most important or the most looked at by the community in general. And like I said, his name is Stefanos and he will be doing videos actually on my channel. Very similar to Altcoin Buzz where there's a few of them that do several videos. This guy's been helping me from the beginning. So I just thought I would love to bring him in because the more videos I get out for you, the better. I know you guys want more content and I think this is the best way to do it. Whether we're doing collaborate live streams, we're doing collaborate videos, or he's doing his own. I would love your input when we get this started. He, it will be one of his first times doing YouTube, so I'm sure he would love your input. Of course, guys, please be positive, be supportive, and I would, and I know you guys will. You guys are an awesome community. Thank you so much. So here we go. Let's talk about the market. First, we got the market cap. Of course, has been doing awful. Bitcoin has been doing awful. At least we're above nine thousand right now. Ethereum at six hundred and eighty-four dollars. Not too long ago, we were looking at it at over $1,200. So you can look at it as a bad thing. I personally don't mind because I'd like to buy more. Dragon Chain, of course, you guys know I love this one. A dollar. This is at one dollar. I've been adding more. When it hit about 96 cents, I've added more. Credits, actually. This one's had so much FUD, but it's actually holding up fairly well. Blockport. I know a lot of us are in this one. This one's doing good compared to the ICO at least. <laughs> so there's another one, BBN isn't on here. So there's a coin called BBN, it's on Buybox. Check it out, my community is super excited about that one. I've had one of my members that I talked to quite a bit brought this to me and she was super excited about it. And I honestly haven't done much research on it, but I do want to look more into it. Like I said, this is on buy box. It's not on coin market cap. So there's a lot of people that saying this is a gem. I may do a video on it, but I need to do more research on it first. And again, this is why I'm bringing Stefanos on it. So I have more hands on deck so we can get more videos out for you guys. So the first coin I want to talk to you guys about is of course one of my favorite dragon chain. And you can see this is their updated roadmap, which is showing a lot of Detailed information, I like this. Then in March, they will have the launch of the commercial serverless platform of AWS. Then in April, they have the proof of work implementation and then smart contract library and then the currency and block aggregation protocol. So you can see here that Dragon Chain is actually doing things March, April, May, June. June, it looks like they have five projects that will be launched. I'm telling you, Dragon Chain, it will be huge. 
keep checking out, follow them, their Twitter, everything. My next one is one I don't actually talk about is Stratus. Stratus is one that I believe I talked about around Neblio time when I was all about that one. If you check the cryptocurrency calendar, so coinmarketcal.com, you can see Stratus has a lot of things going on. So March 27th, they have their first verified ICO, Gluon. Again, it starts on March 27th. And then March 31st, we have they're working on a smart contract solution that will cater to .NET developers, then the sidechain alpha release, and then Stratus identity application. It's awaiting approval to be published to the Apple App Store. And as you can see, Stratus is doing a bunch of things. They will be speaking at blockchain events, <laughs> the expo in London, and then a full node mainnet beta release around June. So Stratus and Dragon Chain, they're kind of doing the same thing in the enterprise section of the blockchain or the platforms. So I like both of them. Of course, you know I love Dragon Chain more. I just wanted to let you know that they're both doing big things and it will be coming soon. Trust me, June will be here before you even know it. So next we have our first section of news, which is Coinbase releases cryptocurrency tax calculator. So this is important because it's tax season right now and we all had this huge announcement about how we're gonna get taxed. We need to keep track of this, etc. So Coinbase has launched a new gain slash loss calculating tool to help their user base keep up with the UX tax requirement. The calculator can be used to generate a report which outlines their capital gains or losses on its platform using it a first in first out accounting method so the tool is primarily aimed at users who have bought and sold on coinbase exclusively so if probably not a huge amount of us <laughs> and it isn't recommended for those who have purchased digital assets anywhere or participated in an ico which again this might not encompass a bunch of people it's probably more for those new those new players so i have a few people that have only bought and traded on coinbase whether it's a bitcoin ethereum Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin, I guess this one's for you. A lot of us have gone on Binance, bought ICOs. This isn't going to help. So they say that they should not be used as the official tax documentation without validating the results with your tax professional. But this is still huge to see that the exchanges, whether it's Binance or Coinbase, are giving us the tools to keep track of our asset trading. Hopefully this makes it easier and we can actually comply with the laws without having to go on this massive research hunt on what we've bought and sold, et cetera. So the next one and final piece of news I wanna to talk to you about is Ripple. So they want to invest in startups that will put its XRP cryptocurrency to work. So Ripple's been getting a lot of slack that their, their coin hasn't been used. They're hugely overvalued and they aren't doing anything with it. So Ripple says it plans to invest in startups and technology companies to develop more use cases for the their cryptocurrency. So the CEO of Ripple, which is Brad Garlinghouse, told TechCrunch, which is this website, that Ripple is staying focused on enabling banks to use its software solutions, a mix of services, some of which don't utilize XRP, but it is eyeing investments in companies that could offer alternative uses for XRP. So he also states that we Ripple will stay focused on solving that institutional use case, but we would certainly partner with companies that are looking to use XRP in lots of different ways. So Garlinghouse said that Omni, which is San Francisco's So Garlinghouse said that Omni, which is a San Francisco-based startup that offers storage and rental services for goods, is a blueprint for this plan. Ripple and two of its executives led a $25 million investment in Omni in January, and the startup has agreed to introduce XRP within its service. Again, this is something that Ripple has been criticized over and over about that is hugely overvalued and not have done anything. They're not integrating into a bunch of banks. People are expecting more from them. So it looks like they're actually trying to do that. We'll see how successful they really are. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Again, I want your opinions on what other ICOs you want added. The new score sheet that we will be doing, again, it's on established coins. Like I said, Ethereum, Dragon Chain. 0x we want to find the best way to figure out how to score each one of these coins your input is greatly appreciated don't forget to smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please smash that subscribe button and i'll see you next time